I saw someone down there. He wasn't human. He's a known terrorist. And he's killed again. They didn't just kill them. They hacked into their minds. I have been very thankful that Rupert Sanders came to us and said, guys, let's try and do as much of it physically as possible. It's understandable that when you make a uh, science fiction future thinking world, you're going to turn to digital animation, uh, CG technology, uh, as much as possible to try and create the slickness and the uh, sophisticated, uh, uh, refined quality of imagery that a movie such as this demands. But Rupert felt that an organic, tactile, plausible world made of physical items was the way to tackle the story. And of course, being a physical effects company, we celebrate in that sort of dialogue. And so we've embraced uh, his aspirations to see as much of this movie uh, initially uh, done with real effects on stage, being shot in front of a camera. You never talk about your past. I don't remember much. Just fragments. There was an attack. You were dying. We saved you. And now you save others. It really is extraordinary to see how prophetic uh, this movie, Ghost in the Shell, was all those years ago. The story told of new technologies that were going to emerge in the world. And right in parallel now in our own era, we're living through the emergence of these extraordinary uh, abilities to bring augmented realities into our own mind. He's everywhere, and nowhere. I will find him. And I will kill him. This movie has the opportunity to hold a mirror to humanity like no other. This movie may inspire some, it may terrify others, because we've all had this niggling uh, contemplation in the back of our minds, inspired by the thought of what, what is technology going to mean to the human race going forward. Uh, you know, we, we are adopting technology like a new skin. We wear it every day as we go forward in society, and uh, it's become ubiquitous with our lives, with the way that we interact with others, with the way that we interact with uh, everything around us. And uh, this is a, a, a future thinking of what that integration of technology and humanity may mean for us as a people. It's extraordinary to think that uh, this film, inspired by the original source material, may become the seminal statement on what, uh, on what that integration of humanity and technology really means for us as a human race in this incredible world of Ghost in the Shell. They created me, but they cannot control me.